themed strengthening intergovernmental relations for sustainable development. The conference seeks to find practical solutions for local economic growth and to streamline service delivery across South Africa. Top of the agenda is job creation for young people. Despite the labour statistics for the third quarter of this year, showing a 3,5% increase in unemployment rate of the Eastern Cape, youth unemployment increased by 0,2% to 53,3% in this quarter. Young people are encouraged to study in fields that will be in demand in the future and that will promote entrepreneurship. Saying the new economy, the digital economy, the AI economy, it is an economy that is fertile ground for young people. We want them to lead us. We want them to take you and make sure that South Africa becomes a manufacturing powerhouse and as well as exporting powerhouse. In that way, through viable SMMEs, we can then be able to hire and have more graduates employed. But if graduates become part of the problem, we will not solve the solution of unemployment, the problem of unemployment in South Africa. The host, Nelson Mandela University, sees the conference as key to assist young people to acquire skills that will set them apart as they enter the competitive job market. We have a, a big, big priority area, strategic and otherwise, on student entrepreneurship and on uh, uh, you know, youth employability. And within that program, which cuts across the entire university, both its divisions and its faculties, its learning program areas as well, we of course provide for different pathways within which our graduates, but also people outside of the university, can participate in to drive the project of uh, uh, student and youth entrepreneurship and also advance, of course, through those projects, uh, you know, youth employability. However, political instability has been identified as a stumbling block to creating more jobs and boost economic growth in municipalities. There can be no stability and there can be no growth if there is instability and lack of focus from political side of those that constitute government. And then therefore this arrangement is beginning to say let us combine the views and ideas, brains together, and resolve the problems that are faced today. The conference also aims to assist in economic positioning, to attract domestic and foreign investment, and create jobs. The economic positioning informs partial restructuring that is required. If then we can find each other as we are now talking here, and find a mechanism of getting all these different role players working together, we would get somewhere. This country has sufficient resources to deal with some of the problems, but the inefficiencies of the lack of integration is one of the biggest challenges that are making projects not to go any further. The conference that runs until the 15th of November will see various speakers share their input on the acceleration of viable intergovernmental relations for the benefit of citizens through the government of national unity. Lerato Fekisi. SABC News, Rebecca.